Uh, Mario is still with us. Here's a phrase I didn't think I'd say. I missed you yesterday, Craig. <laughs> because I was fascinated to see what you made of it all. Well, first and foremost, it doesn't matter. And nobody's questioning Cristiano's desire, Cristiano Ronaldo's desire to play for his country. Uh, but it doesn't matter if he's played two euros, four euros, six euros or ten euros. It makes no difference. It makes no difference how emotional he is, how passionate he is. The question is, can he help the team? And that's a big question at the moment. And the whole emotional side of it that I know you guys talked about yesterday, for me, is less of a concern. The big concern is there is a fine line between responsibility and greed. Hmm. The responsibility to take the penalty, I'm OK with. I think, personally think somebody like Bruno Fernandes, and, and it's proven he has a better record. The, the stats will tell you. But he wants me to take the penalty, because it's about him. So I don't have a big, such a big issue with that. And then he took one, and obviously in the penalties, that takes some guts. It does. Where I have yeah. the problem between responsibility of scoring a penalty for your country and the greed, and where that line dissects, is that he cannot take every free kick on the edge of the box. His record mm. does not stand up. Oh, yeah. His record does not stand up. And yet his manager and his teammates stand by continually and give Ronaldo his ball. <laughs> they give him his ball. And to me, that's a dereliction of duty from the management and from senior players. Have these senior players, like Bernardo Silva and others, got no guts? Bruno Fernandes, have no. they got no guts yeah, yeah. to go up and say to him, hey, they the last time you scored was... You say they can't, back in the day. Of course they cannot. They cannot, you cannot. No. I, I said that before the Euro. You cannot allow somebody to continue to take free kicks you from cannot. dangerous areas that doesn't score from Can you imagine Can Bernardo Silva coming to Ronaldo and saying, well, you know what, I'm shooting the, the free kick. He, I think he's going to start laughing. He said, are you crazy or what? You are talking to yeah. King Ronaldo. He does whatever Listen, he wants. They okay. were one... They were, sorry, Mario. They were one Chesco missed chance. Diego Costa's left boot away from going out. Yeah, and they, they were, they were, that's how close they were from going out. So you cannot allow this sentimental claptrap of a guy who has been a no. great player but never scores a pick. When? What's the, what's the problem, Mario? You want you want a guy to take free kicks no, all the because time that hits the wall and puts it over the bar? No, I, I agree. I agree with that, right? You do have to be a sensible part on that. Yes, but when the penalty comes there, you understand. You want also the guy that has look. Okay, regardless if you see somebody else has a better record, but he was not standing in front of the. I didn't have the feeling that he when he was standing for. Okay, Albach. I know he's a great goalkeeper, but still, when he stood there, I thought he's gonna bury that goal. No problem. Free kicks, I totally agree with you, for him always stepping behind it. But you also have to understand, eh, this is the diamond of their country. In Lisbon or in Porto, I've been to two cities, you understand, in, in a couple of months' time, and the way they treat that kid, it's a different thing. It's not like you're just going to walk up to him and going to be like, <laughs> you think one of the players are going to walk up to him and say, like, I'm going to take the penalty? Come on now. No, they all want no, to no, I don't have such take a things I've the just... way he took it. I don't have... I've just said this. I don't have such a problem with a penalty. I do have a problem... With free kicks. ...during 90 minutes of a game, the same guy grabbing the ball and saying, this is my ball, I'm, I, this is my moment, this is all about me, I'm taking it. When there, yeah. are, there are others, there's a bigger picture here. Portugal could have gone out last night. Easily. But could have gone out. I, and now, you cannot continue. If I'm playing in a team, Frank, I don't give a toss who you are. I, I, I don't care if it's Rude Hula, Jean Frank. I don't care who yeah, it is. If you're continuing <laughs> to miss, no, but, uh, we, we, yeah, we, the ball's getting taken no, off we, you we, and we, I'm passing it to a teammate. I think, Craig, you're misunderstanding what we're saying. I think Mario and myself, we completely yeah. agree with you. He's just saying that it's impossible for the other. That's it. Well, I don't. Think saying, yes, it's I don't. I don't. Uh, and, and, but it's Bernardo fact. Silva, Champions League winner. Won the it's Premier fact, League. Craig. No, no, and, and that is that's my point. That Craig, is wrong. No, no, that no. is wrong. We don't say yeah, it's wrong. Right. Martinez no, was my coach. Wrong. I know how Martinez is. I know how Martinez is. Martinez He's is not never going to do that. When he, no, Martinez is never going to do that because he was my coach too. I know exactly how he is. He is the Mister Psychology. 
He wants to talk like even there were moments in the team when I was playing with him. I had a go. I wanted to have a go at the team because we were not performing. You know what Martinez says? Mario, please don't do that because some of the guys cannot handle it. You think <laughs> he is going to allow some of the players going to go against Ronaldo? No, you got to be kidding now. No, well, he knows I'll tell you, what, he, I'll tell I'll tell you right now. He goes against them, he is probably out. He's probably He's out. Well, I'll tell you what, he'll continue the same management style that he had at Belgium. And where did that take him? Where did that take him? Pampering to the De Bruyne's and, and Eden Hazard's and Thibaut Courtois and all the pandering to these superstars. How'd that work out for him? Huh? How'd that work out in Belgium? Uh, yeah. So what you need is the people, are the, the people that are the best managers are the strongest managers. Can they I... make the biggest decisions. Now, sorry, Frank, but Cristiano Ronaldo, I am not detracting him in any way, shape or form as a career. But we have gone way past the stage whether this guy can be taken on free kicks or taken off the field or dropped. Now, I heard the conversation yesterday and I understand. Gonzalo Ramos, it's not as if you're bringing in Pele. I get it. But there's other ways to, to, to skin a cat. You could play Rafael Leal through the middle for his power and his pace. You've got Jota, you've got Felix. You've got Jota, you've got Joe Felix. You could chop and change things up, even if it's with half an hour to go. Rafael Leal's pace on, on tired defenders, bring in one or two other players. No, he wanted to... And I, heard, I agreed with yesterday, uh, whoever it was that said it. Uh, extra time, a 39-year-old, is he going to be fresh or tired, mm -hmm. but yet he left him on because he was frightened to make That was the same for Pepe. That was the same for Pepe. And to, and to that point, as you say, Mario, mm. you've played under Roberto Martinez. Has he not got what it takes to be a top-class manager? Because he won't make that big decision. He won't pull off Cristiano Ronaldo after an hour <laughs> if he feels he has to change things around because he's worried how psychologically that's going to affect his star player. Yeah, look, uh, being a, uh, a big manager, he's already... I mean, if you highlight, look, if you take Belgium on and then you be the coach of Portugal, you can, I cannot say to him, like, hey, you're not. You understand? But the only thing for me is you're talking about the elite level. That is where mm. the question comes, you understand? We're talking about, you know, the, <laughs> you know when you look at the, the Peps, uh, you know, the Ancelotti's, yeah, that is the high, that's the elite ones, you know, the Zidane. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not qualifying him yet at that level. Why not? It's because he has a different philosophy the way he goes to work. And there were moments as well, when I was, when I was a coach, I wanted to have meeting with the team. And I knew that he was sometimes didn't like us to go really strong to them. So what I would do, I would set up a meeting and I would tell him, we come to the pitch 50 minutes later because I would do the meeting myself. And in that season, you understand, he was my coach and I took that responsibility myself because I was the captain of the team. I didn't care at that moment what the coach was going to tell me because I knew he was going to go against me and I wanted to win. So yeah. I'm not saying that I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm not. And I don't think like that, but he's the captain of that team. And if you saw the reaction of all the players when he got emotional, it proves you also the way, um, the way he spoke about the meeting, you understand, Martinez, and also how the players react to him. So that's why I think in that whole squad uh, level, at the moment right now, they are part of the tournament and they will not change a lot in the philosophy, the way they're working right now. If a change will happen, it will be after this tournament, not during the tournament. Roberto Martinez isn't going to be the first to drop. I'm not. By the way, I'm not suggesting he should be dropped. I think it's just maybe a change within a game, right? So you would start him against France. He would start. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But that's not my question. Yeah. My question is, would you? Yeah, I would. I actually would start him against France. For sure. Uh, but if it's not yeah. working out, I would make that the changes, sound. and those are the changes I think that Roberto Martinez is frightened to make in the big knockout games. And, and you can't allow a guy to walk around saying, this is my ball and I'm taking everything. You just can't. And now, I, I, I understand the pressure of taking penalties. Frank and I mm -hmm. have, have both taken them in, in big games. Uh, so I don't have a problem with that. It's the rest of it I have a problem with. Look, we have to separate emotion from performance here. There's the emotion that surrounds Ronaldo and want him to do well and his teammates, and then there's performance. Yeah. And what's more important, emotion or performance? You need, you need some emotion, but the most important thing is performance. And at the moment, as a front man, he has not performed well enough in this tournament for his country. They have gotten away with it thus far by the skin of their teeth. But the big... It's France they've got, isn't it? France yeah. on Saturday. This is the big question now. This is the big question, because even if the French are not on the A game, it is going to be... A tight game. Yeah. 
big decisions will have to be made from both coaches. We know, and we've seen the World Cup final, Didier Deschamps, whether we agree with team selection and subs or not, went, right, I don't, I don't care if this is Sunday amateur football or the World Cup final, subs are going to be made <laughs> now. Yeah. One manager has proven he can do it, the other manager, there's a big question mark. I, I just want to go back to yeah. the fact that Ronaldo has a problem with the tactic that Roberto Martinez is putting on. He's on his own in the 16-yard box. He's the, the target and the only target that the, the other players have. On top of it, he's a magnet. We talk about the influence that he has inside the dressing room, but also on the field, where players, when they have the ball, they can be called Bernardo Silva and win the Champions League and the Premier League so many times. They try to find him because we, we don't see off screen when he doesn't, they don't give a ball to him, how he shouts to them because he didn't receive the ball. So the influence can be positive because he's Ronaldo and he's really talented, but can, be, can also be negative because, because he, they have to give him the ball. The problem, they have only one option in the 16-yard box, and uh, he's the only one in the middle mm -hmm. of it. And then when he's going to face Saliba and uh, uh, Upamecano, that's going to be a problem. Another thing about the penalty, so people, oh, he had the guts to, to shoot in the penalty shootout, uh, the second penalty. Yes, because you need to have guts to shoot penalties. And the second one, tell me in the history of football, one, penal one penalty taker who missed a penalty during the game didn't shoot in a shootout pen uh, penalty. Never. It never happened. Always you go for it because you want to prove to yourself that you had made one mistake, but you are capable of scoring another goal. So it never happened. Yeah, he had guts, mm. but it was just normal what he did. We're having a discussion about a 39-year-old striker who hasn't scored in this competition. Mm. It's not a pylon on Cristiano Ronaldo. Or the World Cup, I believe, as well. We would be, ha yeah, we would be having this discussion if any other country had a, a player at that age up front who had been struggling and hadn't scored. We'd be saying, hey, drop him. Yes. Drop him. Yeah, so it's, this it's not an anti Ronaldo. <laughs> it's not an anti Ronaldo. It's a discussion that has to be had. And yeah. we had it before the tournament started. We said, yeah. this is going to be one of the big talking points of the tournament. Mark my words. And that Craig, is. he didn't put out uh, Pepe after, uh, after the 90 minutes. Yeah. And Pepe made a mistake uh, because he was tired. Yeah. He's 41. He's not even 39. He's 41. And Roberto Miti Martinez. Mm. I don't know, maybe he didn't have the guts to put Pepe out. Right. So how do you, th do you think he can do that with Ronaldo? Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Well, Fernando Santos did. You, uh, yeah. So one, one manager has done it. No. The, uh, you take Pepe out, Ronaldo comes on. You take Ronaldo out, Pepe goes on. So both of them, <laughs> they're going to back each other. So I don't think anybody is going to take anybody out at the moment. They are standing, they are very close friends. And they are going to support each other to the final whistle of this tournament. So back my words, because they will do that. So let's take a look then at how the bracket stands. Uh, you could argue there have been a couple of upsets, sweet Switzerland being Italy, uh, Turkey being Austria. But that aside, it's pretty much gone uh, as we expected, which sets things up. What a day Friday is. Absolutely brilliant.